Sally. Y'all, it, it looks a mess in here. These are, this is stuff I'm giving away. But it's boxes over here. Stuff right here. Go ahead, Kelly. My room. <laughs> Kelly. Still got stuff on the floor, though. back to y'all when everything's done but y'all have a lot of stuff everything in the bathroom is just lined up on the sink still got a lot more to go the moving company it's dark the moving company that i use will either be here thursday or friday you have to give them a two-day grace period they'll let you know when they're an hour out so since today is Wednesday and they may possibly be here tomorrow, I have to be completely done with everything that I want on the truck by today. So, yeah, I have, I'm over moving. Moving is, it's annoying. But yeah, so the living room, everything is still up. My TV still up. Pictures. <laughs> y'all this is everything i have left patio cleaned out Little patio furniture gone um i just gotta turn in my spectrum box all this stuff here Callie's crate broken down Besides this area and the kitchen, I still have to do a few little things. Callie wants to give a tour, but the bedroom is cleaned out. Bathroom cleaned out. And y'all, let's get to it. I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna check back in with y'all when I'm done. <sighs> y'all, my mom is outside waiting on me, so I can't do too much, but this is all that's left, y'all. All that's left. I'm about to hurry up and get this stuff on out of here. And that's it. Y'all, look how much I'm sweating. <sighs> look how much I'm sweating. I have my locks braided to the back, but I think I just, I've already, did my exercise goal from just moving, moving stuff in and out of my apartment. I already got my exercise goal. So let me get the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna check back in with y'all later. Okay, I wanna speak to y'all. All right, all right. <laughs> but we stayed um, a few days at my parents' house. So I'm getting ready to pack up our little stuff we got. That's everything. Put Callie's crate down. Okay, Callie. And we are on our way to Charlotte. Kelly. God dang, man. Yo. The dog is crazy. Ooh, I look rough. The dog is crazy. But yeah, we're about to, um, I'm about to pack everything up. And we're about to be on our way. <laughs> so... Me and Callie are in a room for the night. Say hey, Callie. We are staying in True by Hilton. And I'm about to go outside and get the rest of our stuff. Well, yeah, I need to, Callie gotta eat. So I gotta get a suitcase and her dog food. And yeah, so I'll check back in with y'all once I have gotten the rest of the stuff out of the car and I get settled. It's the next morning. 
Um, I'm eating breakfast. The hotel. Pancakes, eggs, sausage. I got a banana. Watching Gina Janine on my phone, even though I got my laptop right here. But it is currently it's 6.42 in the morning. 6.42 in the morning. I was so exhausted yesterday. So this morning, I'm about to eat. Me, me and Callie gonna chill out for a little bit. Um, the apartment complex that I'm moving into, the office opens at 9, so we plan on being there right at 9. So that's the plan, y'all. Um, so yeah, I really didn't do anything yesterday. Um, I got here, laid around for a little bit, went to look at the neighborhood that I'll be moving into, and then came back to the room. That's all me and Callie did. Right, Callie? That's all you did, right? So anyway, y'all, um, we'll be back. Okay, say hey. So we are, I can't even really say we're all moved in, y'all, because my furniture is not here. So I got... Y'all seen, I got in town or I got to Charlotte on Wednesday. Today is Friday. So yesterday, I couldn't get into my apartment until 2.30. So I didn't really do anything. Me and Callie had to find stuff, something to do um, until my place was ready. I got y'all propped up on Callie's dog food. So I had to take a fit test for work this morning. And then I had to stop by PetSmart. Callie got fixed, which y'all should have seen in the, if I get it edited, y'all should see in the previous video, Callie got fixed. And so she has medicine and I had to go buy some pill pockets so I can put the medicine in for her to take it. And then I needed some more um, like probiotics. I had this for Callie in the past when she had diarrhea. I noticed her poop is really, really soft, which is diarrhea basically for dogs. And it could just be the move because there's nothing I changed with her diet. So I went and got some of these. So these two, um, about to chill out, y'all. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything later. Um, I didn't even do an empty apartment tour. And at this point, I have junk all over the place because I wanted to unload the car. I actually have my parents' SUV because um, I had a bunch of stuff. I thought my furniture was gonna be here yesterday but apparently they had no delivery date for me so i don't know when i'll be getting my furniture so yeah right now we just chilling um i think i'm gonna do a separate video um about why i chose to relocate and all of that i don't think i'm gonna put that in this video i don't think but anyway yeah so your girl moved and i am in my place um i'm excited i have a two bedroom i've never had a two bedroom i've always done one bedrooms so um yeah oh Callie, i think i'm gonna put your dog stuff over here so yeah y'all i will be getting situated um i don't know if i'm gonna add more into the video or if i'm gonna end it or what or talk about why i chose to move we'll see but i'm gonna come back with y'all i'm gonna come back to y'all let y'all know what i decide if i'm gonna end the video here or if i'm gonna show y'all the rest of my weekend or whatever yeah also, y'all, that's my laptop in the background. But also, I had to, um, Callie's been not really eating as well, and that may have to do with the mood. You know, anything new in a dog's, like, schedule will make them, like, new scenery. Anything new will cause them to just not eat or whatever. So, Callie hasn't really been eating, so hopefully she gets her appetite back. But that may be the reason for her diarrhea as well, just since... The relocating and the driving and her just not really knowing what to expect. So yeah. Well you keep baby. She he Cowie. She he. Is that just a happy dog? I just a happy dog. I just a cute little dog and I'm always happy. I'm a cute little dog. <laughs> hey 
Hey y'all, I want to formally close out the video because I did not close out the video. I didn't know if I was going to talk about why I moved. I decided that I'm gonna do that in another video. Um, as y'all can see y'all, I am still waiting on my furniture. <laughs> I have an air mattress. Oh, <laughs> I'm still waiting on my furniture. I've been here for a week. Hopefully I get my furniture, oh it's dark. Hopefully I get my furniture next week <clears throat> or in the upcoming week or two. Um, but I'm still waiting on my furniture, y'all. I found me a lash tech out here. I think I'm gonna love her. So, um, hopefully in the future, um, I'll be vlogging my, you know, y'all coming with me to get my lashes done. But I found me a lash tech. She snapped. I pampered myself. I got my nails and my toes done because I've been super exhausted. This whole moving experience has really just made me tired. I'm really tired. Um, I moved in another time zone because Alabama, I was in central time zone. Now I'm in Eastern. So I feel like I lost the hour. Um, Callie's getting used to everything. Here she go. Callie gotta get a haircut. It's just been so much going on y'all that I just have not been able to just, I don't know. But I did decide that I was going to do a formal sit down video talking about what led me up to move, talking about why I chose to move, talking about my moving experience, all of that. I'm going to break everything down. So I'm going to do a sit down video. That will be the next video that y'all see when it gets filmed, <laughs> been filmed yet. But I'm going to do that either sometime this week or this coming up weekend. Um, but I've been really, really tired, exhausted um, today, which is Sunday. I'm going to try to ed edit the video today and possibly drop it on Monday or Tuesday. I'm so sorry that this uh, vlog is choppy too. I went back and looked at the footage. It was very choppy. I didn't really vlog my drive here. I was just trying to get here, y'all. I didn't even realize the morning that I drove here, I didn't even eat for real. I didn't eat until I got here and it was a six hour drive. So I was just trying to get here. I just, the whole moving experience has been stressful to me. So <clears throat> I didn't really talk about it for real. Even with people around me, people probably don't even know I moved, but I wanted to get through it and then be like, girl, I'm gone, I moved. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, what was I gonna say? Yeah, that I've been, like today, I laid down and I told myself, oh, I'm gonna take an hour nap, y'all. I was asleep for about two hours. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm just wore out from the whole experience. Sorry, I'm drawing clothes in the background if I haven't said that. But yeah, so I am gonna make a formal video, sitting down, talking about my move and everything and talking about my experience. So look out for that, y'all. And um, I've been enjoying Charlotte so far. Many, many things to come, y'all. Y'all are gonna get to see my whole experience, um, me experiencing new things and all of that. So I just hope that you guys enjoy. If you are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can follow the journey. Make sure that you turn your post notifications on so you'll know when I post y'all. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Sorry about this one being choppy, but we're going to do better, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited because I'm moving to my apartment today. So um, it's been a long time coming. So if you've been watching me, then you know that 2018, I had to move back in the house with my parents because I got sick. Oh, I hope my, I don't. Y'all, my hair looks a mess. <laughs> so don't pay attention to my lace, but, ooh, it's echoing up in here because ain't nothing in here. So 2018, I had to move back home because I got sick. And so I'm healthy, but I low key been like kind of scared to move back out on my own. I don't know, because I feel like in a way, like once you live on your own and you have to move back in the house for any reason, like, I don't know, I just had a sense of like I failed and I didn't want to fail again. So it's been like really scary, but 